Scarce with thanksgiving in your hearts, enter his courts with praise. Enter his scarce with thanksgiving in your hearts, for he has made me glad. He has made me glad, he has made me glad. Jesus has made me glad. Enter his courts with thanksgiving in your heart, for he has made me glad. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Wish you a very good morning to each one of you my dear brothers and sisters. Today's mass intentions for the birthday blessing of Mohana D offered by Krishna, Sujata and family members. May God fulfill her intentions and protect her from all the dangers of this world. And today we also special way remember and pray for our one of the parish center the parish in the karnul the place called durveshi st joseph parish where our presbytery new presbytery is going to be inaugurated today so a special way we remember and pray during this holy eucharistic celebration My dear brothers and sisters let us put forward all our heart desires all our intentions at the feet of the lord and let us participate this online holy mass in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord father we praise you father we praise you jesus we love you jesus we love you holy spirit of god we glorify you holy spirit of god we glorify you hallelujah 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 my dear brothers and sisters i welcome you once again for this sacred liturgy Today's liturgy asks us a beautiful question to each and every Christian believer: Who do you say that Jesus for you? For the answer, we have got litany of answers. But if the answer is from our deep of our hearts, it's because the question: How many of us are going to answer? Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus. after doing so many miracles wonders healings exorcisms even proclaiming about the kingdom of god and is asking his disciples who do you people say that i am since the apostles were with jesus in the ministry mingling among the crowd and seeing jesus who is he and understanding him what are the personality of jesus and as jesus asking them as a feedback of his ministry not only the feedback checking himself analyzing himself that i may in the right track doing the mission of the father as jesus asking his disciples so first answer would have been mine is jesus is a glorious and victorious son of god secondly Jesus is a manifestation of the God the Father. Thirdly, he is a personification of Father in spirit and took the human form to establish the Father's will, desire, plan and the mission. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And fourthly, Jesus revealed God's glory by emptying himself as well as carrying and caring and loving each one every one of us and interceding for all our needs and wants praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah has jesus asked his apostles 
who do people say that i am there were few answers as i highlight here the first answer of them was john the baptist and elijah and some of the ancient prophets praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah for what the reason they said the john the baptist as we read in the book of malachi chapter 3 verse 1 it says like this i will send my messenger before my son of god comes praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah yes rightly this quote says that john the baptist was a forerunner of jesus john the baptist he stood for the values especially the moral values since people were away from the moral values he stood strongly for the moral values that's what we read in matthew 14:4 that we read that john was telling to the herod it's not lawful to have your brother philip's wife praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah since jesus is also standing for the values of the kingdom whereby people were taken to god's presence praise the lord praise the that's lord. was the reason apostles answer to jesus is a people are telling about you is the john the baptist second they said about prophet elijah who is prophet elijah as we read in the first book of kings chapter 17 verse 1 says prophet elijah is the tespate yes he god fed him and the ravens the animal the bird gave him every day morning and evening bread as well as me to eat praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah in such a way god strengthened him he had seen the god's presence in his all throughout his life that's what we read in the first kings chapter 17 verse 6 and he predicted about the drought first kings 17:1 to 7 and he helped the widow of sarephath where she could found the living presence of god in the prophet prophet elijah that's what we read in first kings 17 verse 8 to 16 and he revives the widow's son 17 to 24 and triumphant victory over 450 pals prophets or priests that's we read in the first kings chapter 18 verse 20 to 40 he found god in sound of sheer silence that's we read in first kings 19 12 and prophet elijah ascended in the whirlwind into heaven second kings chapter 1 as well as 11 so with these the apostles as well as the faithful people of jesus the crowd they recognize jesus as a wonderful prophet the prophet elijah praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah in the gospels when we analyze the similarities in the synoptics we find in gospel of matthew he presents st john the baptist elijah and jeremiah and one of the prophets matthew 16 13 to 20 and luke presents the what people say about jesus are elijah john the baptist and one of the ancient prophets has risen Luke nine nineteen and but in Mark present John the Baptist Elijah and one of the prophets Mark eight twenty eight only Peter the apostle the elder the rock of the church identified Jesus as a true Messiah that we read in Mark eight twenty nine Matthew sixteen sixteen and Luke nine twenty if jesus is with us if jesus is our messiah if jesus is our own master legend and leader we will not show partiality we will not so favor to the particular kind of the people we will not be so religiosity people that's what the first reading of the day says yes friends do i have jealous upon rich when the poor comes to the church do i have jealous upon the poor when rich people are entering into the church it's the biggest question to our lives if jesus is with us we don't show any kind of partiality we will not show any kind of favoritism if we show the partiality if we have shown the favoritism let's ask sorry for the moments that we fail to recognize jesus in each and every human let's we come to the sacred liturgy as jesus where jesus he breaks his own body where we break his own word which became flesh let's ask sorry for the moments and let's prepare worthy man in worthy manner that he may bless all of us
let us acknowledge our Jesus in our life and let us say, I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. You were sent to heal the contract of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ a mercy, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy, Christ a mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who teaches that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant we, grant we may be so fastened by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Has not God chosen those who are poor? But you have dishonored the poor man. The first reading, are you reading from the letter of St. James, chapter 2, verses from 1 to 9. My brethren, show no partiality as you hold the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. For if a man with gold rings and in fine clothing comes into your assembly, and a poor man in shabby clothing also comes in, and you may attention to the one who wears the fine clothing and say, Have a seat here, please. While you say to the poor man, Stand here or sit any at any feet. Have you not made destructions among your slaves and become judges with evil thoughts? Listen, my beloved brethren, has not God chosen those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and haste of the kingdom which he has promised to those who love him? But you have dishonored the poor man. It is not the rich who opposes you. It is not they who drag you into your court? It is not they who blaspheme that honorable name by which you are called. If you really fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. You do well, but if you show partiality, you commit sin and are convicted by the law as transgressors. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response oral song. Your response, please. The poor man called, the Lord heard him. The, the poor, poor man, man called, called, the Lord heard, heard him. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boost. The humble shall hear and be glad. Your response. The poor, the poor man, man called, called the, the Lord heard him. him. Glorify the Lord with me. Together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me. From all my terrors he set me free. Your response? 
the poor man called the lord heard him look towards him and be radiant let your faces not be abased this poor man replied the lord heard him and rescued him from all his distress your response the, the poor, poor man, man called, called the, the lord heard him, him. Sing hallelujah to the Lord Sing hallelujah to the Lord Sing hallelujah sing hallelujah sing hallelujah to the Lord Accept the word of God for what it really is the word of God not the word of men Sing hallelujah to the Lord Sing hallelujah to the Lord Sing hallelujah sing hallelujah sing hallelujah to the Lord The Lord be with you and with your spirit you are reading from the holy gospel according to saint mark glory to you lord gospel according to saint mark chapter 8 verses from 27 to 33 mark 8 27 to 33 jesus went to his disciples to the villages of caesarea philippi And on the way he asked his disciples who do men say that I am and they told him John the Baptist and others say Elijah and others one of the prophets and he asked them but who do you say that I am Peter answered him you are the Christ and he charged them to tell no one about him and he began to teach them that the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be killed and after 3 days has risen again and he said to the this plainly and peter took him and began to rebuke him but turning and seeing his disciples he rebuked peter and said get behind me satan for you are not on the side of god but of men the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ Praise the Lord praise the Lord praise the Lord praise, praise the Lord. Lord father we praise you father, father we praise you Jesus we love you Jesus we love you holy spirit god we glorify you holy spirit of god, god we glorify you hallelujah 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 god is good all, all the, the time. time all the time god, god is, good. is good praise the lord praise, praise the lord. lord my dear friends in christ jesus today our lord is calling to each one of us to be the part of his kingdom to become his true disciple by acknowledging him and by knowing his true reality that he is a true god and a divine god rightly our deacon beautifully he mentioned about our jesus if jesus is with us no need to be afraid of partiality or favoritism because jesus knows our heart and mind as we see in the first reading of today where we see the letter to the gems it invites us to every one of us and says to each one of us that do not show partiality but hold on to the faith that god has given to you praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord as we read in exodus chapter 23 verse 3 it says you do not show partiality 
to a poor man in his lawsuit yes my dear brothers and sisters today we are living in the world where we can see different type of partiality or different type of favoritism where people are persecuted where people are tortured where the poor people are neglected and thrown out from the society and today god is calling you and me to uplift them from that tragedy to god's life because god wants to give them blessing and god wants to give them the experience of his love and god wants to give the life of abundance by giving the true living life that what he has given to us praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord my dear brothers and sisters let me compare today's first reading and gospel reading it is a beautifully it is said that if you have a favoritism if you have a partiality in your life automatically you will not able to experience the god's love yes my dear brothers and sister the gospel reading it says how do you experience jesus in your life as we see in the gospel of luke chapter 19 the story of jesus jesus and zacchaeus life when jesus was passing through the jericho there was a chief tax collector a uh, wealthy man healthy man he collected he looted and he showed partiality towards his own people and he was showing his favoritism towards his own people after all he looted and cheated but when he realized himself that i am not doing good for the poor people and when jesus was passing through that way we know he wanted to see jesus from the tree and jesus knew somebody is somebody is looking at uh, from uh, up and he calls him back calls him down when he calls him down automatically he realizes that god is entering into me and he is thinking i have done great great mistake in my life and he turns back to the lord and he welcomes jesus in his heart and mind and he welcomes jesus in his home and when jesus enters in his house so many people so many disciples were jealous of him because they were knowing that this man is a sinful man how he can go with a sinful man but god knew jesus knew this man has transformed this man has changed and no longer he is a favoritism or a partiality but he has converted through his repentance by realizing himself and by realizing his mistake and we know this man he comes to and this man welcomes jesus and welcomes all people and we know whatever things he ha- had taken from the people and whatever the favoritism and whatever the problems he had he came back to the lord and he asked pardon and mercy and he gave at the return four times praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord praise the lord my dear brothers and sisters today our lord is calling to each one of us even though we live in the circle of the lord 24 hours being 24 hours reading the bibles and doing the worshiping or whatever the works we have for the lord we do but still we lack the knowledge of god still we lack the experience of the lord still we lack the love of the lord why because we don't have repentance of heart repentant heart we not able to accept our fellow brothers and sisters our own our own brother who are living our own sister who are living in our own community who are living in our own society we are unable to accept them as our brothers and sisters and there it comes a favoritism 
and we forget and we forget and unable to uh, acknowledge Jesus who is our true God and who is our true master. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So today, even if I am in the circle of God, even I am, I am in the tower of God, we need to acknowledge our mistake. We need to come before the Lord and repent our heart and mind for, before God and ask pardon and mercy by crying, by weeping and by, by giving everything to the Lord, surrendering every to the, everything to the Lord. Lord will forgive you and you will acknowledge Jesus' life in your life and you will know God's love. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters. So, for that, we need to have a God is love. God, he, because God love is a more important. When God love is a more important, automatically you will know others love also. If you know other uh, God's love, automatically you will not have a that partiality or favoritism in your heart and mind. As we read in First John chapter four verse eight, it says, "God is love. Anyone who does not love." does not know God because God is love. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters. So, to have a God in your life and to experience God's love and God's uh, presence in your life, you need to love first your God. And when you begin to love your God, automatically you will know who is your neighbor who is poor, who is weak and fragile because God knows your heart and mind. So today, our God is asking you and me, who is our God and who is our Jesus? In chemistry says, he turned water into wine. As we read in John chapter 2 verse 6 to 10, also John chapter 4 verse 46. In biology it says, he was born without the normal, normal conception. That means... For any birth that woman has to undergo so many uh, procedures and so many things he has to undergo. But he was without the normal conception. As we read in Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14. Also in physics says that he disapproved the law of gravity when he ascended into heaven. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. As we read in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 16, verse 19. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters. And this is who Jesus is for us. And economy says, because you study so many subjects. So, according to the subjects wise, I would like to give the details about Jesus. In economy says, he disapproved the law of diminishing, returning by feeding 5,000 men with a two fishes and five loaves of bread. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. As we read in the Gospel of uh, Matthew chapter 14 verse 19 and John chapter 6 verse 13. In medicine says, the subject of medicine it says, He cured the sick and the blind without the administering a single dose of a drugs. Gospel of Matthew chapter 15 verse 30 it says and Gospel of Mark th chapter 1 verse 34 it says. So who is Jesus for us? We need to know even if you study different subjects and God is revealing through different subjects to know about his reality. Only disciple of Jesus, they were in him, uh, with him 24 hours, so they were able to say. But when we have the subjects like different subjects, biology, chemistry, physics, economics, there also our Lord and God is revealing to each one of us who is Jesus for us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And in history it says, He is the beginning and the end. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Gospel of John chapter 1 verse 1 to 5 it says, Revelation chapter 22 verse 13 it says, and Revelation chapter 21 verse 6 it says, and in the government, the ruling party it says, He said that He shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Prince of Peace. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 to 7. 
and in our religion as a Christian or as a whatever the religion we follow. And in religion, he says, Jesus said, no one comes to the Father except through him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. As we read in Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 4 to 6. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters. So, who is he? He is Jesus, the greatest man in the history. Jesus had no servant, yet they called him master. Had no longer degree, yet they called him teacher. Had no longer uh, no medicines, yet they called him healer. Had no army, yet kings feared him. Had he, he won no military battles, yet he conquer, uh, conquered the world. He committed no crime, yet they crucified him. He was buried in tomb, yet he lives today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So this is our God. This is our Jesus Christ, who is a true God, who is a true living God, who lives us among us and gives us life. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge him. Let us be a part of him because he wants to become the center of our life and he wants to give his life. Let us ask the Lord to come in our life that let nothing should come in our uh, come in my life but only Jesus should become a true living God and center of my life let us ask the Lord to come in our life that we may feel his presence my dear brothers and sisters kindly close your eyes and thank the Lord because he wants to be with us as we chant this beautiful hymn oh Lord in your death oh Lord in the depth of my soul, your presence I feel, your glory behold. Let us feel the presence of God in the depth of our soul that let him enter into us and let him become true living God. Let us close our eyes and open the heart of heart and mind for the Lord because he wants to be with us and chant after me. O Lord, in the depth of my soul, your presence I feel, your glory behold. You are great and marvelous, you are wonderful, beautiful, glorious. Let us sing together. Oh Lord, in the depth of my soul, your presence I feel, your glory behold. You are great and marvelous. You are wonderful, beautiful, glorious. Yes, Lord. You are a healer. You are the giver of grace. Yes, Lord. You are the medicine for us. Yes, Lord. Lord, you come in our heart. Yes, Lord, without you, there is nothing. With you, everything is there. And with you, we can do everything whatever we are unable to do but you our god give us the grace heal us our body make us a true disciples and apostles to know your real love and to acknowledge your real presence in our life you live within me you live within me part of my life you always be you live within me, you move within me, part of my life, you always be. Oh Lord, in the depth of my soul, your presence I feel, your glory behold, your great and marvelous, you are wonderful, beautiful. Wonderful, beautiful, glorious. You are wonderful, beautiful, glorious. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let us have a offer tree hymn.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this spread we offer fruit of the earth, work of our hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God for ever amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be God for ever amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do Your will the source of eternal river through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, the powers trembles before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. We adore you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. We adore you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. The mystery of faith. The Destroy your death, rising. You restored our life, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, come in glory. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Anthony Paul our bishop and all the clergy a special way we remember and pray birthday blessing to Mohana D that the God may bless her and give her good health both body and mind on her birthday today as she celebrates her birthday that the Lord may be always with her family members and with her also a special way we remember and pray for the inauguration function it is going to be held today at 10 30 a.m durveshi paris saint joseph parish at karnul that the lord may bless all those people who come for the blessing of the presbytery and also grotto that the lord may come upon them and let them experience the love of god and let them acknowledge true living god in their life remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased with you throughout the ages we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done. on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look, at, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and, and with, with your you. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Peace with you. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only so, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Jesus, 
Son, so that all who believe in him may not perish but may have eternal life. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless us, the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. 
brothers and sisters wish you a blessed day thank you so much forget oh, thanks to the lord for his good forget oh, thanks to the lord for his good Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good As He turned and is His love I will sing to my God, never cease All my life I will tell of His wonder He's the maker of all earth and heaven Of the ocean, the seas, of the world Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His good. As eternal is His love.